Coming up today on the Must Watch Show, the new docu-series Shiny Happy People, Duggar Family Secrets is exposing the truth of reality TV's favorite mega family, the Duggars, and the radical group behind them, the Institute and Basic Life Principles. Today we speak with the director and executive producer on this matter. Plus, the United States Tour Operators Association is revealing the top summer travel trends of the year. Dr. Ian Smith has a new book now available to readers titled The Metflex Diet, Burn Better Fuel, Burn More Fat. Dr. Ian is discussing the diet plan and why he wanted to bring this book to his audience. A new episode of The Must Watch Show starts right now. Hey, it's Noah, and welcome back to the Must Watch Show. We've got a great one for you today with a lot of great guests, but let's get to my first guest. So the Metflex diet, it reveals how to burn better fuel through strategic fasting, healthy recipes, and a whole lot more from number one New York Times bestselling author, Dr. Ian Kane Smith. He shares a powerful six-week plan to burn fat more efficiently by improving metabolic flexibility. Welcome, Dr. Ian. It's so nice to see you once again, my friend. We've had you on quite a few times and it's it's nice to like virtually see you because when we do these sort of like you know five minute interviews it's really quick fast paced and we're like goodbye you know so we don't actually get to see each other but it's so nice to connect on zoom and see each other (laughs) here we are Yes, here we are. Well, let's go ahead and get started, Dr. Ian. So there are 500 metabolic disorders and only one out of eight adults in the U.S. have optimal metabolic health. So tell us why this is such a concern and, you know, why you decided to address it in your new book. Yeah, a lot of people um, are experiencing metabolic issues and don't really know it because they haven't been Mm -hmm. tested or because the problem isn't advanced enough to give them some kind of symptoms. Um, But I came on to it because so many people were sending me emails or hitting me up on Instagram and saying, hey, Dr. Ian, you know, I'm eating better, I'm exercising better, but I still can't get that number on the scale to move. And I'm like, Mm -hmm. whoa, what is going on? And so I was doing some research and came across a term called metabolic flexibility. And what it Mm -hmm. basically means is your metabolism needs to be more flexible, which means that your body needs to be able to burn two of the most important fuels that it has, carbs and fats. Some people can only burn carbs well and not fats. Some can burn fats well and not carbs. Those kinds of people are metabolically inflexible because they can only burn one or the other. However, if you want great metabolic health, if you want to start losing weight, you need to be metabolically flexible and burn both carbs and fat. So if you sit down to a plate of pasta, you got to be able to burn it. If you sit down to a steak or a fatty fish like salmon, which I love, Got to be able to burn it. And so the Metflex diet is a six-week program that teaches the body how to burn carbs and fats and start losing weight. So all those people who are saying, I'm doing better, but the scale isn't moving, it's Mm. probably because they need to become more metabolically flexible, and that will start the numbers going down. Mm-hmm. Now, Dr. Ian, the Metflex diet, like you said, is a six-week program. You know, kind of tell us a little bit more about how it works. Yeah. So uh, the first two weeks are heavy in carbs and protein. When I say that, people are like, what? You can eat carbs? Yes. <laughs> carbs are a macronutrient. That's why we call them a macronutrient, which means the body needs them in macro supply, large supply. So carbs are first two weeks with some protein. And the last four weeks, something called cyclical keto which means you cycle in and out of short-term keto, not long-term, I'm not a fan of it, but short-term keto and then carb loading days and then short-term keto. And so you got these six weeks and on top of all of that is a little bit of intermittent fasting. And we do three different types of intermittent fasting in the book. Um, And so all these things together is why people are really losing weight. I gave this program before the book came out to a a Facebook group of a thousand people who got to test it, test drive it. Uh, they lost on average 14 to 16 pounds. They mm. lost eight to 10 inches on average in six weeks. And some people lost as much as 24, 25 pounds. Um, and so this is a program that allows your body to do a lot of different things with regular, easy, affordable foods and still mm. lose weight. Now, tell us, what are some of these signs that, you know, for any of you who are watching that may have metabolic inflexibility? That's right. Unfortunately, there's no blood test, but here are a couple of things to look for. If you mm-hmm. eat a carbohydrate-rich meal, like let's say pasta, 
and right afterward you're really sluggish, that could be a sign. If you have problems dropping fat or shrinking your fat, that could be a sign. If you're someone who always needs some type of stimulant to get going, maybe coffee, that could be a sign. If you find yourself eating and then really quickly after eating, you still have cravings, that could be a sign. If you're someone who is fasting or not eating and you find yourself to be really sluggish uh, and not yourself, that's also a sign. So those are just some of the signs. There are more signs in the book. But that's the bad news is that there are a lot of people who are inflexible. The good news is that by following this six-week plan, you can actually improve your metabolic flexibility and start seeing results, not just on the scale, by the way, but also lowering your blood pressure, your cholesterol levels, and of yeah. course, your blood sugars. Makes you a lot more healthier inside and out. Now, Dr. Ian, you say our concept about metabolism slowing dramatically after the age of 30 no longer holds true. Can you explain that to us? Sure. We always believe that at the age of 30, your metabolism mm. pretty much fell off the cliff and started right. really dying. And the truth of the matter is new research has shown that actually between the ages of 20 and 60, your metabolism mm -hmm. is relatively stable. It's not until you turn about 60 that you start slowing down about 0.7% per year, which is still not a lot. So everyone right. who thinks that, well, I'm not losing weight or I'm gaining weight because my metabolism is really, really slow, it's probably mm -hmm. not the case. It's probably that you are inflexible. And what I've seen in the Facebook group that I mentioned, by the way, of those who are listening or watching, join the Facebook group. I'm in it yes. helping out. We do workouts. I do Zoom coaching sessions. Uh, the Facebook group is the name of the book, Met Flex Diet, or you can follow me on Instagram at Dr. Ian Smith, spell the doctor out, I-A-N mm -hmm. Smith, because I give away all these tips and tricks. But right. the beauty of it is that when people who thought that it was their metabolism being too slow that was mm -hmm. causing them not to lose weight or to gain weight, the fact of the matter, it's because they just weren't flexible enough metabolically. Mm. We'll have all the information appearing at the bottom of the screen so you can join uh, Dr. Ian's Facebook group right there, you guys, and follow him and connect with him on socials. Now, tell us, what are four easy tools people can immediately implement in their you know life right now to improve their metabolic flexibility? Uh, real fast, and we got them in the book, better sleep, a better sleep environment. People don't realize that bad sleep affects your hormones. Mm -hmm. Intermittent fasting is wonderful uh, for me uh, for metabolic flexibility as well as burning fat more efficiently. Number yeah. three, exercise. Not a lot of exercise is necessary. 20 to 30 minutes, four days a week. You can break up the sessions, 10 in the morning, 10 at night. The book has all kinds of exercise illustrations. You can do at home, in a hotel room, in your backyard. You don't need a gym, though I love gyms, it's okay. But if you don't wanna belong or can't belong to a gym, you can follow those exercises. Uh, and lastly, cycling in and out of keto or ketosis, short-term mm -hmm. keto, alternating with carbs. Those four principles, which are in the Metflex diet, are things that can get you going right away. Now, Dr. Ian, is it really true that people you know, can eat the pizza? Who doesn't love pizza? They can eat some steak. They can drink some alcohol from time to time at different points during this program and still lose weight as well. Is that true? Is it true? You better believe it's true. This is a program. <laughs> this is a program of regular food. This is not a program asking you to go to five different gourmet stores and spend a billion dollars uh, to eat. No, this pizza, there's pasta. Yes, there are alcohol allowances on certain days, so you can tip the bottle a little bit or the glass. But this, listen, what's the sense of creating a plan that people are not going to follow because they don't like the food or the food doesn't taste good? you got to create a plan that is not only effective at helping people achieve results, but also something that they can stick to. And by the way, which is why I also have a workbook, uh, my yeah. Netflix diet workbook, which is what this is right here, is a nice little paperback companion book that goes along with the program. And it mm -hmm. gives people, it's a daily companion. It gives people greater insight, not only into what is working, but what's not working. And it also helps people stay engaged. The people in the Facebook group who use the workbook they lost 25% more weight and they said wow. it was easier to stay and stick to the program because the workbook kind of takes them through every day. That's awesome. Dr. Ian K. Smith, you're so dang smart. Look at you helping people achieve their goals, weight loss goals. Some people 
they dream of losing weight and they try everything and it just doesn't happen. And with the Metflex diet, it can and it will. You just have to, you know, stay on top of it. Well, Dr. Ian K. Smith, thank you so much for the great conversation. We we have to, if, if you have not, you must go pick up a copy of the Metflex diet, just like me right here. Um, it, it will help you lose weight. You will be very impressed with the results. And if not, then what? How dare you? You know, so <laughs> Dr. Ian, thank you so much for joining us. It's always so nice to see you and hopefully we get to have you back on the show again real soon. Listen, I appreciate talking to you all the time. And my novel, I have a novel coming out uh, yes. soon. So hopefully you'll talk to me about my novel. It's great. Absolutely. We will bring you back on for sure. Okay, all man. Right, the overnight. Care, That's Ian. what it's called. Thank you, Dr. Ian, for joining us on the show once again. It was so nice to see you. Well, when we come back, we are sharing with you the top summer travel trends of the year. Don't miss this. Welcome back to the show. We're well, navigating your next unforgettable summer vacation today. Terry Dale, the president and CEO of the United States Tour Operators Association, is going to highlight trending destinations along with sharing the benefits of taking a tour for your next adventure. Welcome, Terry. It's nice to have you on the show. Hey, it's great to be with you, Noah. It's really nice to have you on the show. So first off, Terry, can you share the benefits of booking a group tour for upcoming travel plans? Because we are about to head in the summer, we my friend. We are in the thick of it. So Noah, I assume you might be like me in that we all like to save money and time. And you can, okay. ac you can accomplish both by using a USTOA tour operator member. And here's why. We buy in bulk and we buy well in advance so that we can lock in prices and that gives the consumer confidence that they're give, getting value. And that's key today because in this inflationary cycle, you'd like to have confidence that you're getting the value oh, yeah. you deserve. And then we have what's called, Noah, the Million Dollar Travelers Assistance Program at USTOA. Mm. And what this means is if a business would cease operations, they can come mm -hmm. to me to request a refund of a deposit that they may have had on hold. So again, it's a protection plan for travelers. Now, Terry, tell us what type of travel access or perks will you receive on a guided tour? Tell us more about that. So, Noah, I'd like to use Turkey as an example. And Turkey, mm -hmm. formerly Turkey, but now Turkey, um, is a good example in their partnership with Colette. Colette is a tour operator member of ours. And Ephesus, which is an iconic destination in Turkey, everyone should see. But what we are able to do through our exclusive access is that mm -hmm. they will take an archaeologist who's worked on the site for maybe four decades, and that individual mm -hmm. will provide the tour, give their personal insight, their stories, their experiences, which you can't mm -hmm. replicate on your own. So right. it's, it's that kind of um, access that uh, we bring mm -hmm. to the table. And then Colette may take you to Dion which uh, is an island with sea turtles. And as we know, sea turtles are endangered. So there's a whole yeah. educational process as far as what we can do to help protect them. And Turkey mm -hmm. is also making a commitment to sustainability to make sure that we minimize our footprint. Now, Terry, can you share some misconceptions about taking a group tour? Sure, I think that, Noah, the biggest misperception is that uh, I'm locked into this very rigid itinerary. And that's not, mm. that's not the, the experience today. So if I look right. at club adventures in Malta, now, as you know, Malta has 7,000 years of history, and that's a lot to cover mm -hmm. in like seven or nine days. But they okay. still bu build in free time so that you can exhale and enjoy. So if you go to the island of Gozo and you're visiting a family vineyard, you're going to sit with the family, you're going to hear about the history through their eyes, and take off your shoes, have a glass of wine in a very relaxed, mm -hmm. casual way. So um, it's not that rigid these days. And speaking of Malta, mm -hmm. you have to try the Maltese rabbit stew, which I've done three times Ooh. with families, not to be missed. Well, we will have to do that, Terry. <laughs> and just looking at the B-roll, uh, it makes me want to go on a little vacation right now, you know. Let's you go, Terry. You do Let's it. do it right now. Yeah. <laughs> 
Yeah, let's do it right now. So tell us, Terry, what recommendations do you have for those looking to travel more, you know, responsibly? Well, it's it's a high priority for USTOA and our members. And if I look mm -hmm. at Intrepid Travel and what they are doing in Zagreb, which is Croatia's capital city, and I might point out one of the greenest cities in the EU, uh, they want you to eat, sleep, shop locally. We want to provide the greatest economic impact for small businesses, family-run businesses, and so much of what I enjoy is connected to food. So I always think mm -hmm. of the shrukli, which is a dough infused <laughs> with fresh cheese. And Noah, I tell you, you'll be a fan from the first bite. And uh, so, ah. so food is always part of it. But I also want to do a call out to Kalsheva, uh, which is a street filled with artisans. And what Intrepid Travel does is they bring it to life through the eyes of the artist. And we will use them as storytellers when we're talking mm -hmm. about Zagreb and this particular district. So we're committed to sustainability. We think if we keep it local um, and right. responsible, we're doing uh, the best for Mother Earth and for uh, our members. Look at you being so fancy with saying those names, Terry. That's <laughs> right. You know, <laughs> I'm not so sure. <laughs> ah, yeah. Now, Terry, tell us, where can the travelers go for more information on all the great things that we have discussed today? Come to us. So it's ustoa.com slash tour now. Terry, Dale, thank you so much for the great conversation. So nice to virtually meet you, and you're Likewise. welcome back anytime on the show. Thank you so much, Noah. Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Thank you, Terry, for the great conversation. We have more show after the break. World domination was the goal. If you have not gone through the basic seminar, I highly recommend it. IBLP. 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 The IBLP teachings aren't Christianity. There's something entirely different. We have, for every one of you, the answer. Thank you for agreeing to talk to us. There's a story that's going to be told, and I would rather be the one telling it. Please welcome director Olivia Christ and executive producer Bly Faust. Good morning, ladies. Good morning. Thanks Good morning. for having us. It's so nice to have you both on the show. So first off, this new docu-series goes inside the real life of the Duggar family. Can you explain to me why you wanted to create a limited docu-series exposing the truth beneath America's true mega-family? Yeah, I think, you know, for us, the Duggars were very much a jumping off point for a much larger story, um, which is about the insidious organization behind them, which is um, the IBLP, the Institute and in Basic Life Principles. Um, and, you know, they're, you, you know, the Duggars from TV, they've been on TV for a long time. Um, and I think what you don't know is the story behind the family, which is you know, this organization, all the abusive practices um, at play. And we have a lot of survivors come forward to tell, you know, their side of the mm. story. Now, this project is looking into the Institute's and basic life principles, which several of the Duggars are practicing members of. Can you talk to me about how this is an issue in today's youth growing up in religious families? You know, the thing about the Institute and basic life principles is that it's not just um, you know, a church, one single church or a group of churches, but it is, it is an ideology that went far, far beyond and into the fabric of our political and social fabric. And so the youth mm -hmm. growing up, there are, you know, it, were, there were so many who were touched by it and in particular by their homeschooling system. And that was one of the tenants and um, the linchpins of the Institute um, and their, and their programs and how that really affected uh, the youth. And, and, and in that homeschooling program, the, the education that these kids have received is um, abysmal um, at best mm -hmm. um, and harmful. And, and, and so, you know, you've got this whole generation of kids who were raised under the tenets of this, this ideology and who did not get a basic education. And in fact, you know, uh, even worse, were often taught things that were um, abusive and, and misogynistic and, and, and otherwise. So, yeah, I mean, it's a it's a big deal. And it's, and it's taken these a lot of these um, you know kids who've grown into adulthood to finally be able to come forward to face what happened to them, acknowledge what happened to them and then to speak their truth. So it's um, it's mm -hmm. been a long process and there's been a lot of people touched by it. This is definitely going to be an interesting series to watch on Prime Video, but to our faith base and Christian viewers watching as well this morning, there are many parents that are not as extreme with what their kids can and cannot do. You know, can you tell me how the Duggar family went wrong? 
Yeah. So I think, you know, with Bill Gothard's teachings and, you know, Bill Gothard is the founder of the IBLP. Um, one of the, the main tenets that he pushes is this principle of authority. Um, and, and the result of that is this umbrella of authority structure where really the father has all the control in the family. Um, and, you know, the women have to submit to their authority, to their husbands, to other men. So it, you know, with a structure like that, it's, it, it's just prime for abuse. Now, can you share with us some of the reports that have been coming out about the Duggar family so you can refresh our viewers watching this morning? Yeah, so so Josh Duggar, um, you know, a few years back was initially, you know, accused um, of, of, of abusing and molesting um, several underage girls when he was still a teen, and those included some of his sisters. But then most recently, mm -hmm. um, he was convicted of child on separate child pornography charges and is mm. currently serving time in prison. Now, Ginger Duggar, she has slammed the organization in her current memoir, but you know, how many Americans are being raised how Michelle and Jim have raised their kids? Yeah, I mean, the the reach of this organization is it, it's large. I mean, there are thousands of families who have been touched by this over the years, you know, in in kind of the heyday of the the institute when it was at its at its peak, you know, Bill Gothard mm -hmm. was packing out stadiums um, for his seminars. Um, so, mm -hmm. you know, this really really um, t touched a lot of people. Um, and you know, beyond that, it, there's not one you know church. There's not one compound. What you typically think of with a cult. So, you know, the teachings really became the way that. Um, you know, uh, the control was exor exhorted over these, uh, over the followers. So, um, in that way, it really spread like, uh, like, like a disease. Thank you, Olivia and Bly for joining me on the show. Shiny, happy people. Duggar family secrets is set to premiere on June 2nd on Amazon prime video. We will be right back in a moment. Stick with us. Thank Super, you. Thanks so for having us. Thank you to all my great guests for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed watching the show. And by the way, shout out to La Chacuteria, yes, once again, for providing wardrobe with yet another stylish jacket. If you want to dress in style like me, we'll have the website appearing down below so you can visit it. Take care. We will see you back here next time on Must Watch. Have a great day. Bye-bye.